Hello. So today was meant to be our one lie-in of the week, and this happened. So it's, um, I don't know, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Ten to seven. And uh, we're at the Premier Inn. And uh, yeah, fire alarm's gone off. This is the only morning we've got a lie-in. Oh, well, at least we're not filming it. Why do you just decide to bring a toaster at <laughs> all? <laughs> Ridiculous idea. I'm just tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Touch Up On Tour, the new TV series that takes you, dear viewer, all around the country as me and Gav buy as many toys as we possibly can and pop them in this van. Over 30 shops in the UK. Action figures, dolls, Star Wars, weird stuff, Transformers, aliens, Thundercats, bootlegs, He-Man. From all the way down south to all the way up north, east, west, Wales and Scotland, we're covering it all. We'll have rare items and some old favourites. So join me, Joe, Gav and Matt the cameraman as we take this Toy Shop, Shop on Tour. tour. Where are we going now? Where are we we are going down to Red Roof, Red Roof in Cornwall. So we are heading down the M5 for a bit then onto the A30. For road geeks out there, that's where we're going. <laughs> Red Roof sounds like a horror location. Sounds like Stephen King. You've been to Red Roof. You pretty much described it. <laughs> no, it's uh, sorry, all you Red Roof people. Uh, it's, yeah, Red Roof. <laughs> it's cool. Um, Red Roof, Cornwall. We'll be going to, and uh, we're going to go and see Peter Weeks' shop, which is Space Pirate. Yes. That's our first stop of the day, and we're getting pretty close to our most southerly toy shop, Ooh. which we'll talk about maybe later. So it's quite exciting to think that we're actually, this is kind of going to be the most southerly place that we, that we find, that we've found so far. We have done a lot of miles. We've done a lot of miles. I haven't told you this, but I, I plan, if the weather's nice, if it clears, I'm going for a dip. Oh man, I hope this day is a bit cloudy. <laughs> There's a few places around here, aren't I know there? there is, we're going to have a ride. Time. We need more time here. We, need we do more time. need more time here. Forget the beans. Here we go. Here we go. here we go. Here we are. Space pirates. Brilliant. Let's go. Oh, hi, yeah. Hi, Peter. Hey, you're at me. Is that Joe? Nice to see you, man. Oh. You too. Are you well. How's it hey, going, Gav? Gav. Hi, Gav. And what? Matt, the cameraman. Hello, Matt, the cameraman. Little wave. Good Is to it... see you, mate. Yeah. I tell you what, the weather down here is beautiful. Oh, lovely. I ordered it too especially much for, for me. you. It's too Thanks much. Very much. much. Well, you might as well have a look around downstairs and then. We'll go up to the collection rooms. Oh, the secret stash. The secret stash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this Morpheus face. I think they've just stuck a generic head on there. <laughs> but then, there we go. Look at this likeness. Oh, we like it. We like this. I mean, like, this is not something, but this is one oh, of these things. That and I... it's got Captain Tarpauls. Yeah, it? <laughs> absolutely. Captain Tarpauls and Cadu. One of the hardest of yeah. the sets to get. They produce so much episode one stuff. Well, this is Power of the Jedi, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They produce so and much. And most probably got priced about 15 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, that. It is. Don't see those very often at all. Not often a modern piece or kind of, which it is. I mean, I know they're old now, but not often a modern item makes me kind of pick it up and go, wow, that's cool. We've got everything. We've got Lord of the, graded Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all the good ones as well. Oh, again, <laughs> found something. <laughs> you don't see you don't see the big porcelain one of these very often. Handmade porcelain. This is early in the uh, Living Dead dolls line because we've got these ones up here. This is uh, you know some of the range. The Dracula's a whole Universal Monsters collection. Uh, they do Wolfman, Creature from the Lat Lagoon, and the Fantastic. But I've never actually seen one of these in person, and I really love it. <laughs> so we may have to talk to him about this in a little bit. Oh, the blob. Fantastic comic. What we got in the tube? Oh, nice. 1986 Transformers colouring tubes. I had endless ones of these in a kid as a kid. They're really slow, like Thundercats, all sorts of stuff like that. And they look they look all unused. Look, look how many there is. 
I'm sure they're not one pound a set now. <laughs> they're beautiful. Oh, I did quite fancy them. Oh, Peter, what could you do me on one of them? Well, or you... maybe a couple of them. Well, a hundred pound each or, or less, you know, <laughs> if you buy more than one. But I'm sure we can do you a deal. In fact, I bet you get crayons in it. Yeah, there yeah. you go, ready made. Now, strangely for you, there's another box next to it, which is quite interesting. So this is the original box. I got these in from 2003. Mm -hmm. And there's two unused Millennium Falcons. That looks pretty special. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, perhaps I'll have to give one of those to Joe for a present. Falcon yeah, Millionaire. Be, uh, you know, we, we don't accept bribes in any way, but you know. <laughs> so unused Falcons. Yep. Both pallet toy examples. Yep. Lovely, mate. And then if you just pop. Can we slide one out to have a look? Yeah. We can, yeah. Yeah, we've got to have yeah. a look, haven't we? Obviously, by logo. There you go. So the tapes have fell off over the yeah. years. The unused content. And then if we. Let's pop one open gently. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that just as nature Ooh. intended. I've not seen one that colour for a long time. A second hand car, no miles. Yeah. So you can't ask for better than that, can you? Are they for sale? Not, not at the moment, I'm afraid. They're going off to uh, the graders to be sealed in plastic prisons ah. to be preserved. No, denied. <laughs> Peter. Yes. Weird, twin pack of hand solos, small head, big head variation. Did you have them graded? Uh, no, I bought that in uh, from a collection, right. uh, and I think uh, UKG are very good at doing multiple casings like that. What sort of money have you got on that in the shop? Two hundred pounds. Okay. What sort of money have you got on that for mates rates, Mister? Well, as you, Mr. you Weeks, we'll, we'll we'll knock you off fifty pounds. So one hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah. So that's kind of like I like of, it. It's interesting, you know, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's cool. You don't see yeah. small and big heads. Could you do me a little bit more? Could we, could we do one forty on it? Oh. It's breaking my arm, but we'll shake on it. All right, mate. 140. <laughs> let's let's take that away. That's ease. So there you go. First buy of the day. Let's see what else we can find. You've got the hollow chest set from the Falcon. Yes. Here, the sideshow one, which I believe genuine toy shop dust there viewers cornish dust at that look at the size of the bits here these always get lost there's no i can't see any damage which is incredible i'd love them to make a full size one that you could actually play that you could actually play or just just to sit and move the bits around you get all the characters from the from the film so if you're familiar with it obviously it's one of the few films i actually am familiar with but yeah that's that's a really cool item how much is that peter it's 100 pounds might come back to that and see if yeah. we can maybe have a bundle deal yeah that that's a good you've idea. got you talking my yeah, language there now we go. yeah okay let's put that on there let's put that there the only oh. problem you'll have with it is trying to find a wookie to play with <laughs> it's all right so i have plenty coming out plenty of our customers <laughs> is that, that the this, one from the dvd set this is from the dvd set yeah. minus tirith yeah so there we go we can recreate you can have a tiny man just jumping off there or jumping falling that's great uh, how much is that? If you want a special deal, I'll do that for £10 for you. I think that's oh, a good that, price. That's a good price for that. Yeah, that's wicked for that. That can be part yeah. of the bundle. I'm going to definitely have that. What have you got there, Gav? <laughs> Pinhead from Puppet Master. Oh. Charles Band's Puppet Master. Full Moon Toys. Full Moon Canada. Toys. Yeah. Thank Charles you. Band, renowned for making the lowest quality everything. Yes. Toys, yeah. films. You put no money into it. Just a quick turnaround. Most quick of the book. bubbles fall off. That's oh, actually, yeah. you know, still intact, which is They're unusual. Dreadful. But this one, um, 1998, Pinhead, great character. Look at him, look at the size of him. I had one of these back in 1998, it was so excited. Puppet Master figures, one of my favourite films. Took him out the uh, took him out of the packet, arms fell off straight away. What a terrible figure. Uh, ne Necker have recently made them, and the Necker ones are really, really nice. Tell me about these Simpsons. Oh, my graded Simpsons. Very hard to find. They are. Um, I've I bought a huge Simpsons collection about you? five years ago, six years ago. And you don't see the three graded pieces very often. No. 
And that's the greatest one yeah. of all. Even rarer, you know, great. Yeah, yeah basically. Comic book guy. Yeah, it's just... basically. And then there's a convention book guy, which I've never owned. And uh, I think, uh, is that a Homer up there? Boxing uh, Homer? Boxing Homer. Yeah. Very cool. Very violent man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to donuts. I think we can come back to down here. Okay. I think we're going to go and see some very special stuff yeah. upstairs in the, the inner sanctum of the shop. Allowed into the inner depths of the shop. Oh man. Oh, now we're talking. All my life I don't know where to look. I'm gonna go dizzy. I slightly lost the ability oh. to speak there. <laughs> oh, I've got a, yeah. Really nice graded. Look, oh. look at look behind you. Look here. No, look. <laughs> oh, the Empire Strikes Back Dengar offer. Oh, that's amazing. Peter, can I touch that? Of course. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the one from the uh, ESB site. That's Mark really Daniels. That, yeah. Oh, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of Mark's. Isn't that lovely. Great, that is. So once my my Palatoy Dengar mailer comes back graded, that will go with it. He's a top man, is Mark, isn't he? Really lovely fella. I, yeah. tell, I tell you something, I'm not usually a fan of graded vehicles, but how nice does that look? An A-Wing. Yeah. An A-Wing graded. Because A-Wing's beautiful as well. It's a yeah. great looking vehicle. Behind yes. Joe here, we have the only unused graded Ewok village there is. I mean, <laughs> how much was that to grade? That's At huge. the time, it, I think it was 400 plus fat, so about wow. 500 pounds. But they wouldn't deliver it, so I had to Drive arrange off. to meet someone in Bristol to pick it up. Wow. Both land speeders graded together as well. Palatoy and Kenner. Now, one of the things I want to show you while you're there, if you grab the Boba Fett helmet, yeah. a friend of mine made three. Oh, okay. So at the X-Wing Fair in Hollanton, we actually gave one to Jeremy Bullock. Oh, very oh, nice. nice. So, and then he signed mine. Oh, brilliant. Visit. Yeah, I've, I've got a tiny head, so I'll be all right. Go for it. There we go, just get my glasses off. Yeah. There we go. Oh my God, <laughs> and now I'm afraid. Don't harm It's no me. good to be dead. These are all mailers. Wow. The whole cabinet of mailers. Wow. So, uh, Might have to sit down in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have lots of uh, different things, but my favorite, of course, is uh, a sealed Kenner Boba Fett. Wow. Oh, nice. A nice little 12 year search. And I came across that one at last. Now this is me, my yep. personal thing. I have a, a sort of, I've, and I suppose it's because you know what it was like when you started doing this. Yeah. Baggies were everywhere, weren't they? Yeah. And you just opened the baggie up. Yeah. And had a mint figure. And I'm still in. I'm still in that sort of phase. So, yeah. seeing bagged figures. I mean, that Evie's great because she's, you know, she's. You can see her. But yeah. The, 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 yeah, you're at that stage, though, aren't you? Because you've collected everything. Yeah. That finding something like this, Boba Fett mail away, 80 grade. But, but then this. But this just, is a, a very. I want to see the figure. figure. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get nice, it out. Like, this is a very very common figure. And, yeah. it, and originally they were so easy to find, but now there's only half a dozen examples sealed. Yeah. So to put it with a flyer just made it yeah, so much yeah. nicer. It's really yeah. nice. I know a lot of people are against U grading, uh, you know, with a stigma, but this is a U90 Lily Leddy Yoda. Yeah. Complete, oh, which nice. I bought uh, about six years ago. But uh, as far as I know, it's the only uncirculated 90 there is, but wow. it's fabulous. It's beautiful. You see the Leddy, it's the different color and everything as well. Yeah, and they're all because they're hand painted. A lot of them, yeah. you get a lot of paint on the on the cloak, but to get a ninety was just crazy. Yeah, but I think this came from Robbie Mullen at the time, um, but it was just a nice piece, something interesting. But uh, you were asking about. I like to see the figure from the Bob effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if we look up the top here, there you go. Wow. So now you can see one. See, that's what's in the box, folks. <laughs> It's what you want to see, not a white cardboard box, but that's just me. I think that's the cleanest yeah. auto I've ever it's seen. Came Impressive. From a box of 50. This room is incredible. Oh, must have. This well, there's two pieces here that are nice. Um, so this this is very unusual. This is the Palatoy troop transporter with the grey cover. 
And what I don't, people don't realize they have a different COO on the underneath. So you can't just put a gray cover on one. They're actually completely different, which is a great piece. I didn't know that. There you are. No, I didn't know that. And there is the Sears yeah. ESB one. That's Very unused cruising. inside. Yeah. COO, for those who don't know, country of origin. Absolutely. There's a nice Java set. It's the uh, Canadian one. Oh, oh, yeah, again, yeah. unused, like most things. So the logo is very different. Yeah, but a nice mm. piece. Lovely thing. But hard to find. Anything Canadian always fetches more. Oh, everywhere you look in here, there's something. Everywhere you look, look at that. Kenner Consumer Pro Promotions 1982. How rare is that? I've never seen this. And I've got a lot of catalogues. I think I've seen one other. Well, I'm not. That's awesome. And it just keeps on going. It keeps on going here. Like, you're just looking on the shelf. These are just cast to one side on this shelf. And look at that. French catalogue. Meccano. So you'd have all the action force in there. Oh, it's a flipping heck. It's amazing. Kenner 1986. And underneath, right through from 78 onwards. Right up to 1986 with the droids. Amazing, yeah. absolutely amazing. Some great images of toys that weren't produced, yeah. so prototypes. And that's what I love about catalogues. Yeah. yeah. That's what I love when I go through my catalogues, I'm like, oh, what would have happened if they'd done that with that packaging? You know, if you yeah. think about the droids yeah. packaging on some of the items and things like that. And everywhere you look, and there's like, like, look, that's a French clawful card. And it, you know, just, there's, there's stuff everywhere. And th this is not the end, this is the first room. There's more to this collection. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a pallet to a Death Star sat in the corner. I've not even looked at it. There's too much other cool stuff. So, a slight movement over to Thundercats and Masters of the Universe. Oh, you're oh, going to like this. Life. Oh, wow. Oh, my, oh, my God. goodness me. Whew. Oh, man. L look at these Look at these all lined up like this. Yeah. How cool is that? Don't. This is... Oh. <laughs> There's a monstroid. Monstroid. That's, That's the only monstroid they've graded. Wow. I love his little, uh, his little <laughs> to keep him stable and put that thing yeah. in there. Brilliant. Wow. <laughs> oh, a graded slime. <laughs> Absolutely. Why and not? Then, uh, and then we have seven different battle cats over here. So we've got two pre productions, 76 wow, and 78. Um, a no COO, a couple of French, a Malaysia. Wow. Uh, I love my battle cats. Um, they look great, don't they? We, we try to get one of each figure. I think when everything's assembled, I'm missing a peach cheek skeletor and a half boot. Even the battle bones up here looks great. I great, yeah. Because it's such a, such a huge thing. And it was it was everywhere. You, you couldn't sell them. No. Yeah. The only Castle well, Grace you use is a coffee unused graded. Yeah, unused Castle Grace. Which race. cost me a fortune. Yeah. Oh, Stinger, very nice. Uh, see loads of look these. Look at him. Yeah. Nice 85. He's nice, those, isn't he? Those wings on that. Yeah, oh, they are the, so one of the breakiest yeah. things. I'm never going to have a loose one. Because, you have eight yeah, I've only ever had two, which are, which are good. I'm going to get to the back of this cabinet, which isn't easy. So we'll get these out of the way. And there's a little princess for me, look. Little she -ra. Oh, she looks good She's in cool. there. She's cool. So uh, a nice man in Australia was kind enough to sell me this. There's a JC Penny two-pack. Wow, that is cool. The That's Evil awesome. Horde. What a great box. And what's really unusual about this one is the two figures actually have the mini comics in them. Oh. Most don't. But that was a great, great piece to find. You know, yeah, that's very something happy. you don't see every day. Obviously, <laughs> laser light. Laser, laser, light. laser light. My He Man's at UKG having a mini comic added, but there you go. Laser light skeleton. Nice little 85. Absolutely stunning with all original paperwork. Doesn't get better than that, does he? Oh, give up. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, up now. You, you're not going to get there. <laughs> we had the pot of slime up there. The slime. What bit. about the slime bit? Yeah. See, these have recently really. Oh, it's it's strange, nice. isn't it? Because yeah. there were nothing not that long for a ago. Long they weren't that expensive. And my latest edition. Point Dread. An 85 Point Dread Zero. Wow. wow. Which is just That's incredible, beautiful, isn't it? The box. It's amazing. Yeah, that's a rare piece. These are some of my comics. I'm a little bit OCD with comics, so I like them to be 9.8 white pages. So 
we got a few of the Marvel run. I think I got five. Uh, all 9.8s. Um, we'll flip that one. That's, a, that's an amazing cover. That's a great one. And then, at the other end, I think if I go to here, we have the first three DC ones. There you go. Oh, wow. 9.8. 9.8. That is, that's about as good as it gets, isn't there's it? No, there's no better. No. I think there's only 27 sets mm. uh, that are graded at that. Just going off the subject, for those those people that are searching for, people will talk about grails, they talk about things. Well, basically, all the grails are here. Yeah. Um, but one thing that's mentioned in the... in the, I, saw, I suppose one of the sort of a lower level grade, which for some people would be the absolute top end, is going to be Scare Glow. So here we have a green halberd, 80. Yeah. And then we have a glow in the dark, 85. So we have the European release and the American release. That right? Absolutely. And then we have one with a comic. Um, Search for Caldor, which on its yeah. own is an expensive yeah. comic. And it, trying to find them, I want comics for these, but they're just so hard to get. And then I think I know a guy. Mm. Oh, that might be good. Yeah. And then there's one I bought from Flint Frank uh, from his wife's oh, collection. From America, yeah. yeah, from Steph. She was kind enough to sell me hers. I really like the glow and the dark scare glow. But yeah, they're amazing, yeah. aren't they? We, we do love. We do. Have, we've had a bit of a run <laughs> on Carded scare glows recently, and it's yeah. like we haven't got any now. No. Do you mean the new so. one? No, no, the old, the old the old really. Yeah. You never told me you had one. Oh, I didn't. Oh. It came and went. Didn't it right? came and went. We had two at the same time. Oh no! And it's amazing because it kind of gives you that thing of like going, if you're going to aspire to a collection or you aspire to something, you kind of aspire to a collection like this. But for some people, it's just it's simply to have the full run of loose, which I love. I love the yeah. fact that you can yeah. get them out and you have that. It, yeah. But seeing them like this, it genuinely, my heart's like. The gonk droid here. There's my love of that R2, but also the power droid. He's fantastic. Because it, it's one of your favourite figures because it's so cheeky, so cheeky and small. And there he is, big. You have him on your shelf. Everyone's going to see him. A, he's got some nice graded ones as well. He's had them graded. Imagine the space you'd need. Imagine collecting all these, the space you'd need. I'd be daft. <laughs> I knew it'd be good, man, but I didn't, I didn't think it'd be that good. Man. So much, so very clean. There's still more to come, but it's all limited by money and time. It's about people that could look at that in 20, 30, 40, 50 years' time, and they can see exactly what came out of the boxes, exactly how the figure should be, and that's the important thing. Look, there's things bothering me upstairs that I've seen that I know that Peter won't let me let me buy. There is something he said they'll let us buy. Right, what's that? We'd like, can we have a look at that gentle giant three pack, Peter? Yeah, of course you can. Back up again, eh? Sorry, mate. Wicked. They're quite hard to get now. The power drawer in his own is expensive, isn't he? Yeah, so. Power drawer and the R5. I think he said £150, and I'm quite happy to pay that. Yeah, that's alright. That's alright. I mean, there's a bit of profit in there for yeah, us. Just a little bit, a little bit. A little bit? Alright, pal. I'll be 100 quid out of that. <laughs> What do you think about this little baby, Gav? Oh. So, even better, Gav. Special offer card yes, back. Yes, I knew the one. Doesn't get better than that. The That's Gong cool. Droid's so cool. Beautiful. They're all nice. It's a nice set, isn't it? Yeah. He's the wrong way around of the bin out. I was going to say. No. Yeah, he's the wrong way around. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. Didn't even notice that. I think, I think we'll have him for £150, Peter. He's good for that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, if you bought them individually, you paid best part of £400. Yeah, 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 very nice. Coming back to the shop, that's how we can get it out of Gav's cold, <laughs> dead hands. That's a bit dark, it's isn't it? From Joe as well. That's my area. Sorry. <laughs> well, if I can get it out of his hands, is that better? <laughs> we are cold because we're not in the sun. That's yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm a bit warm, it's too warm for me. I've mentioned this once or twice. I quite fancy some of these. Yeah. Okay. What could you do me for five of these? Well, we'll we'll do you a, a real good price. We'll do a we'll do a mates rate what, on what's this. What's a mates rate on this? We'll do them for ten pounds each. Ten pounds each. Fifty quid for five. Sold. Deal done. Nice one. Thank you. It's about time to leave you now. So it's about time we need to tie up this amazing deal oh. on this. It's a killer piece. It's um, cool. You you've bought a couple of other things. You know, really happy, and it's great you've come down. It was £100. I'm going to do it half price for you. Mate, that is, that is sterling. So I know you want it for Thank yourself. you very much, mate. No problem at all. That's really cool. It's called the Space Pirate. 
We're open 10 till 2, six days a week, and you're always welcome to come in. Once again, we're in a town and we're lost. Basically, this is the most furtherly south vintage toy shop that we can find. So there seems to be a, a huge amount of uh, Matrix dolls down here. That's what I was thinking. There's yeah. a lot of Matrix There's a lot toys of Matrix. around here. Toys Were Us came about because Toys Are Us went down the pan and these were toys. They're not anymore. They're collectibles now. All of us do this voluntarily. And it works. Really nice selection of uh, 90s Thunderbirds, 12 inch figures. In fact, 12 inch figures seem to be a bit of a theme in here. There's lots and lots of good 12 inch figures. Over here, there's even more. Look at this lot at the top. Star Wars for miles. How much is the sign, Paul? Well, his signature's worth 1,700 quid a time, apparently. But if someone wanted it and bought four of the other figures, I'd let them have it for three grand for the lot. So I reckon that's a good saving for them. There you go, mate, you got three grand. <laughs> Hello, sir. How do you do? I was expecting you to be up here and you're down there. Well, I sat down, that's why, yeah. to sleep now for 20 minutes and then out to drive in taxis in Hale tonight. Back to the bus and then onto the beach. To the beach. You're excited about that, aren't you? <laughs> Not a fan of beaches. <sighs> Gav, where's Joe? I have no idea. Not a fan of the sun? No, I'm sat here reading Clyde Barker's Books of Blood. Hold on. The fool. That's the beach I asked my wife to marry me on. Oh. Oh, that's nice, I yeah. didn't know that. So it is one of my favourite places yeah, in oh, the world good. because of that. That all, that all makes sense now. Yeah, it's a beautiful place, yeah. I love it. Not as beautiful as my beautiful wife, but <laughs> still beautiful. <laughs> but we've got to pick our toy of the day Yes. today, and, and I'll, can I do mine first? Go for it. Right. Going back to Peter Weeks' shop, and picking up this chess set, and it was £50. It's a bargain. It's an absolute bargain. All the chess pieces are there. And I don't know, it's just such a cool set. Mm. And it's one you don't see. It's for you one, it's for you one six figures. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? So it's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's for anybody's diorama, that's gonna look absolutely oh, yeah, amazing. Definitely. So yeah, I'm really pleased to have that. Peter did me a really good deal on it as well. And it's one that I might keep it for a little while. Yeah. I might sell it. But it, when I do sell it, I will make a good deal of money out of yes. that. So that was really kind. He, he knows what it's worth and he didn't have to do that. No. But there could have been a number of items I could have picked. Oh yeah. What did you Peter. pick then? I also picked something from Peter. But ah. mine is a bit bigger. Yeah, you've kind It's of... a lot bigger. Ah. Look I at knew them you were guys. gonna pick that though. I kind of had that feeling. I mean for me, this guy and this guy. Yeah. I, I kind of want these myself, but they've got to go in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> well you know, it, I, I know what you mean. There is yeah. that thing of like it does make you want to start a power droid or an R5 yeah. or a Death Star droid. Or just focus. get yeah, just get all the gentle giant droids. Yeah. That'd be good. And now I want to go and buy some more toys, but we're not gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait, no, we're gonna have to we're help not, our friend. We're not buying tonight, are we? No. We're actually handing over toys. How to start a toy dealer. Here we are at the craft beer box. Oh look at this! I love it. Yeah, put together on a shoestring for sure. And some toys. Yes. This is all for you. <laughs> Not really, that you know really what nice. that was because you never had a TV. For sure. Hey. Yeah, get in with the catchphrases. Get the catchphrases. <laughs> some nice stuff like a oh, hand small head. First 12. He's going to go with my, like, I've got like um, 
Chewbacca up there already. Yeah. So, uh, he's a Creepo. nice cheap 3PO tenner. Bargain wow. for someone. Bargain? Right. Toy Shipping yeah. in a box. Yeah. Star Wars collection. In the craft box. beer box and a Toy Shipping box. Yeah, there you go. So, Tim, this this is a gift from Leicester Vintage from all of us. Just we're, we're going to set you up with a little, a, a small selection of Star Wars figures. And um, Tim's going to compensate us with some beer as well. And it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's like lovely. And it's like nice turnout. It's, and a nice, it's got proper little buzz going on. Yeah. But a nice chat to some people as well about toys and yeah, it's been good. So, yeah, there's definitely some toy people in here. Yeah, um, and I'm quite enjoying my beer. <laughs> Right, which way is home? I believe it's that way. It is that way, isn't it? <laughs> oh, the van's there, look. Oh, there we go. What I'm ready for sleep. What time have we got to be out in the morning? Oh, well early. It's in like half seven. We planned this very badly. This looks nice. Very reasonable prices. Tuscan. There we go, Tuscan Trader. Cool. Whoa, look at all the stuff in there. Ooh. Toy shop on tour. Please like and subscribe the channel. It'll be worth your while. <laughs>